Hello. <laughs> uh, my name's Philip. Uh, I'm coming to talk to you about True Fast Loneliness Movement. Uh, I represent the English Division. Um, it's basically a movement of men that have realised what's really going on. Uh, it, what really happens with women and how they control us and try to make us do bad things. We don't want to do bad things, but they make us do it. How do they make us do it, I hear you ask. Well, they sit next to us on buses and things like that. So, um, sit down next to us. We're just minding our own business going from one place to another place. That's how buses work. You get on here, and you get off there. I'm talking metaphorically, of course. I don't think there's many bus journeys that are like this long. There'd be no point you could walk there yourself. <laughs> but you sit on the bus and you just mind your business. And the women get on and they sit next to you. And, and then what they expect you not to do anything. Do they expect you not to touch them on the boobies or the bottom? Because that's what they're there for. Boobies and bottoms, you have to touch them when they come near you. So, but it's all, a, it's all a conspiracy. They do it on purpose to keep us down. So we've started this movement called the True Fast Loneliness Movement. And we have a couple of things that we've noticed about the world. I'd like to share them with you so we could be informed so you know what's happening. Okay. These are the different ways that women try to control us. Okay. Number one. They wear clothes where you can see bits of the skin on them. I'm not just talking about the face skin, because it's alright to see face skin, that's normal. You can actually do get away. You can normally see face skin on every person that you talk to. Yeah, so that's alright. But no, they do they they show you arm skin and they show you shoulder skins. And then they sometimes they even show you like chest skin there. Oh, and it's just, it makes you confused. I don't know what to do when I see chest skin of a lady. I feel like I must have to rape them. Well, I mean, I prefer it if it were consensual. That would be better. But, you know, it's not always the way. So, I have to touch the chest skin somehow. And it's not going to let you. You just have to do it anyway. So, what else did they do? Oh, they talk to you as well. Oh, as if. As if, as if talking to you is not going to make you want to kill them or something. Of course it is. You know, it's just natural. But, you know, again, I'd prefer not to because it gets a bit messy and sometimes you have to hide the body and all this kind of stuff. But it, it's it's just a natural reaction to getting talked to by a lady. So I don't know what to do about that, really. Um, if, if anybody's got any ideas of how to sort out this problem, uh, to, you know, just to protect ourselves from these horrible urges that we get that are created by the ways that these women manipulate us. I'd like you to let me know because I'm having trouble controlling these urges. I get worked up. I get I get worked up. I can't help it. I get I can't, I can't. <coughs>